Ah, there you are. I was about to send a message. The bamboo guard has discovered traces of Jin Sayan. We, Wan Hong, will brief you on the latest. I must hurry back to Bamboo Village to address this spy issue. More and more, I believe our goals are closely aligned, Jian. Continue assisting the Bamboo Guard against the Black Ram. Jin Soyun will be handled in turn. The Captain says this Jin Soyun person may be responsible for dark crimes here in the Gloomdross. We've discovered several corpses infused with a dark energy. The bodies have been mangled, but we assume they are members of the Char Coalition. The bodies were found in the Dream Drift, an area of the forest frequented by the Char Coalition. Unfortunately, the monsters in the area have become quite restless recently, so we could not stay longer for confirmation. Really? Okay then. The Captain did say you were enthusiastic. Oh, by the way, if you find any clues, show them to the Char Coalition representatives first. They'll be able to identify the victims, and they may know something about your Jin Soyun person. Make contact with Paso. Ever heard of the Dream Drift? You'd better read the letter! Stranger, if you're looking to place an order for charcoal, just mosey on up and talk to the head foreman. He'll get you situated. This badge, where, where did you get this? This badge belonged to my brother, Basso. He and some other coalition boys left to harvest the Dream Drift a couple weeks back and never came home. I knew something awful must have happened. Basso's never gone more than three days without checking in. But you're telling me the whole crew got turned into those things? That's too horrible for words. But you? You brought peace to my brother and the others. I'm in your debt, friend. Anything you need, I'm your man. Just say the word. Jin Soyun? Never heard of the lass. Wait, hold on. She dress all in black, real mean looking tall drink of water. Strange circus folk type entourage. Some of the boys have spotted her snooping around the forest for the past several weeks. You don't think she's the reason these monsters in the Dream Drift started acting up? North. Whenever they'd finish up with their creepy weirdness, they'd pack up and fly north. Every single time. Free advice? Stay away from the lady in black, friend. Oh, there you are. What have you learned about Jin Sa-yun from the Char Coalition? North, eh? Hmm, if I was a betting man, I'd say that means Jin Sa-yun is in the Cinderlands Desert. We are not leaving. The Cinderlands Desert is too large to search alone. I have several spies in that region. They'll keep an eye out for this lady in black, Jin Sa-yun. In the meantime, you should stay right here in the Gloom Cross. Jin Sa-yun made frequent trips here. Yes? It's possible she may return. Do not lose hope. It may take days or even weeks to find a new lead on Jin Sa-yun. Be patient. Excellent. I will look into those Cinderlands contacts. Good luck. I'll check back in a few days. Chira. Today is your lucky day. I think we can help one another with our respective problems. You are buddies with the local charcoal kingpins, and I happen to know a source a lot closer than the Cinderlands who can help you find Jin Soyun. You remember those bombs I made at the Black Ram South Anchor? The giant explosion in the jungle? Pretty impressive, right? Wrong! They were weak! Terrible! Awful! No good! Pathetic! That explosion should have singed off our eyebrows! It didn't. Why? The bombs didn't contain flame grass powder. Trouble is, there's only one group in the world that knows the secret of refining flame grass. The Char Coalition. And well, they don't like me very much. But I hear they love you. You get me some flame grass powder and I'll put you in contact with my buddy Pundehe in Jade Stone Village. If Jin Soyun passed through there, Pundehe would know. You can find flame grass all over the Gloomdross. Just pick some and ask the Char Coalition folks to refine it for you. Simple, simple, simple. Even if they refuse, I'll still put you in touch with Pundahe, because I'm a nice guy. You have nothing to lose. Come on, it's been too long since I've blown something up. I need this. No more bombs? I'll show them.
I'm surprised you're still in the dross. I thought you had a mean lady to go settle up with. Whatever you need, you're practically one of us now. Just name it. Oh, flame grass powder. You sure, friend? That stuff is super dangerous. Hi, Drung Wang is a walking fire hazard. We blackballed him years ago after he almost burnt down the village. Is the flame grass powder necessary for your mission? Okie dokie, I trust you. Just make sure that firebug is nowhere near our forest when he goes and blows himself up, you hear? One very small sack of flame grass powder coming up. We'll deliver it to Ha Jung Wang ourselves and give him a safety lecture he'll probably just ignore. Good luck, friend. <laughs>